NVIDIA obviously has been very involved with OpenCL from the very beginning. Uh, it originally was an uh, Apple, uh, Apple uh, started initiative. You know, we have a very close relationship with Apple going way back beyond the beginning of GPU computing uh, and before in the graphics space. Uh, we currently chair the OpenCL uh, Kronos Working Group that is defining the Open, OpenCL spec. We're active members. I'm an active uh, member on the Kronos Working Group, you know, helping to define that open standard for computing uh, uh, OpenCL uh, cross vendor. Uh, the spec is making great progress. We work closely with AMD and Intel and other platform providers to really make sure that you know this this the entire platform of GPU computing is enabled. Um, on, on NVIDIA hardware. Kronos in general is a standards body that highlights, that focuses on the interface between hardware and software. So if you look at its specifications, the things that it's done, it's, it's, it's focused in that area. And OpenCL is true to that mission. Uh, it provides a low-level API for managing and executing work on computing devices, uh, including GPUs, and uh, the, the spec reflects that. Um, a lot of users love that low-level interface. They can have explicit control over program management and execution. It's very similar in ways and spirit to our low-level driver API, our OS layer, uh, and, and uh, OpenCL is very similar to that. I do expect third-party vendors and NVIDIA too to providing high-level solutions potentially one day to, to, for targeting OpenCL, just like we've targeted Kubernetes.